Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make $100 a day using influencer marketing that's quick, easy, simple and anyone can do in 2019. Let's go. Hey everyone, Ricky Hayes here and in this one we're going into how to find influencers on Instagram and get $100 a day quickly and easily in 2019. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get straight into it. So step one, how to find influencers on Instagram. Okay, guys. So I personally use broad keywords like jewelry, baby, fashion, dress, toy, garden, anything sort of similar relating to the specific product and specifically what the type of niche is for that product is uh, where, where, where you want to start. Um, and then I have a look at a number of profiles. I follow them and then I rec um, am recommended with follow uh, profiles to follow. So. Uh, basically, I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I follow about 50 of them, okay? So if I'm looking at that, I'll at least follow 50. Um, keep in mind where you're at in your journey, you can outsource this, but um, basically try and at least follow 50 of them, okay? So I just went on Instagram here and um, I just typed in the word jewelry and this was one of the ones that come up. And um, you can see here that they're an influencer and that this meets the criteria. Um, so we got jewelry magazine, um, and they've got 83,000 followers. I recommend at least 50,000 followers. And they, you know it's an influencer typically because they say DM to be featured. So you do it on your phone and you just DM them and you can see that they're getting good engagement. They've got um, you know, a number of comments, likes. You know, obviously, you're always going to get more likes and comments. But you've got a number of these and it's, that's really good. Okay, So you can do that. And what you do is you just follow them and you're going to get recommended with other ones to follow. And usually a lot of those are very similar to the one that's why you recommended them. And you just like that and you get a heap of ones that you can just DM, DM, DM okay? and, um, and start from there. Okay, So moving on past that is, uh, and I touch on this, you have your step two is your Instagram criteria. And you want to use flanks for your hashtag calculator. Okay, so. Uh, for the flanks.com uh, engagement calculator, sorry, it, you need at least 2% engagement rate. I would recommend that because uh, the engagement rate is technically uh, the people that interact with that post, whether it's a comment or a like, all right, as a whole. Um, and they need to have at least 50K followers, okay? One, because that shows that they are, um, you know, that they're growing, as well as two, they have the swipe up feature to have a decent audience size. So, you know, 50K people, 2% engagement, you know, and at that 2% engagement, you're gonna get a lot of people go to your website, and then obviously, you know, only a fraction of them are gonna buy, a buy, right? So, uh, you can download a comp, so I'm gonna show you that here. So I have um, the engagement calculator here, and I'll just put it in, and you can see they sort of meet the criteria just of 2.11%. Okay, so you can see the average interaction per post is 1,700 likes with 27 comments. Okay, and now with Flanks, you can actually, um, I didn't start my free trial on this account, whatever, but you can generate a, a detailed Instagram audit and it's a 30 day trial. I would recommend for people that are using this tool that are starting, just use that 30 day trial. It's gonna give you the demographics of the age, gender and location of the main ones you really wanna know. Mainly it's just age, uh, like you, you know that like with jewelry obviously it's going to be women so that's pretty obvious with jewelry it's probably going to be 18 to 54 year old women so that's generally what it's going to be uh, but most of your buyers will be 25 to 44 uh, most of the time and then uh, location is obviously the other one but most of the time if you find good ones then they'll have the, uh, the big five generally with the US obviously is the, the main one um, okay so that's just something to keep in mind all right and so just literally you just copy their their title and put it in the flanks engagement tool and you're gonna get the engagement back there and you can use that to help. Okay, and the reason you wanna do that is you need you need a reference because a lot of them you can, they use bots. So you wanna remove the, the people that are using bots because otherwise you can spend 40, 50 bucks, let's say, and you can just lose it because they're just getting bots, okay? And a lot of people do that. All right, so uh, now that we know that, so you've got the 30 day trials. Um, so we've explained that, so step, Sorry, that should be step three. I've got this. Anyway, uh, so you want to contact at this point 20 to 30 influencers. So, uh, sorry, I missed a step. So you want to uh, check their profile further, make sure they aren't bots. So what you can do is, let's say we go into this one. Okay, you can actually, it's better to do it on mobile, but I, I'm a desktop user. But you can see a lot of uh, comments. Now, a lot of these generally, um, these are automated replies that you can use software for. Okay, um, but a lot of these won't be as well. You know, you can see here, nice post, check us out of our page, blah, blah, blah. You know, so you can see that these people are most likely using a bot to try and increase their 
they're following or they've just done that manually. But point is that have a look more through their actual followers and just see that they're not um, they're not actual bots. Now you can actually see here that this is in Bangkok, Thailand. Okay, so this may not be the right type of one, but just using it as an example for this. So let's say that now we've gotten um, you know twenty or thirty of these influencers that we've uh, you know we've followed a couple of hundred of them. Let's say um, we then want to contact twenty to thirty of them, and you contact those twenty to thirty based on their engagement. Okay, so if you use the content to report and engagement, you can um, you know if you've found fifty, you can narrow it down easily to twenty to thirty. And you want to you want to start contacting them, okay? So contact them to start with because only about ten to twenty percent, I find probably about more on the fifteen to twenty percent range actually reply. So if you message twenty, you're only going to get probably four to five replies max. They're either your emails are going to go into potentially spam. They're just not going to see it because they get flooded with various things. Okay, so that's really important. Okay, to, to keep in mind, and that's why I always recommend trying to contact at least twenty to thirty, so you get a, a decent amount because um, you want to. I'll explain it in a second, but you're going to negotiate the price. So you want to repeat this process probably two to three times a week. This is, depends on where you're at in your journey, of course, but you want to do this two to three times a week. So if you're doing mainly influencer marketing, uh, you want to you know you want to always try and find new influencers as well as use good ones that you already have. Um, but definitely try and find more influencers so obviously you can keep your sales consistently growing if you're influencing marketing. So step four is negotiate a price, okay? So you don't be afraid, okay, with influencers that to negotiate a price. This is a business deal. This is a business opportunity for them. Most influencers, truthfully speaking, don't know marketing at all, okay? So legitimate ones, they've built a following because who knows, but they just uh, have the type of content that people want to follow. They like them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're just um, you know someone that, that they enjoy, right? So uh, don't be afraid to ask for a lower price. So every time someone says, like you know, I charge this, uh, just say to them, okay, well, I'm going to be doing this. Um, I I want to try and negotiate it down. What you do when you do contact them is you wanna make a basic email template and this will help with the negotiation to send them and sound professional like you have been doing this for a long time, okay? Um, it helps with your credibility in negotiations, okay? So if you make a template just in like Google Docs, for instance, that just says, um, hi, whatever the person's name is, uh, my name is Ricky and I am contacting you on behalf of um, Jewelry Today. Um, and we were interested in doing a paid shout out on your page. Um, we've been doing this for a long time and we we know the process very well. We just want to extend our network to new influencers, new opportunities for influencers, as well as new um, opportunities for us to increase our business, things like that. Okay, so just want to make it professional, really professional, really accurate, um, and that will help give them confidence because influencers want to they, they don't want their time wasted by you know these joes that are trying to get a paid shout out for like five bucks um when uh, really good influencers know the value of their audience okay um so that's something that you need to keep in mind okay so depending on the niche you will typically be looking at the 30 to 60 dollar range you can try and get that down okay uh the admittedly things like fashion is dramatically more expensive jewelry is okay uh, baby baby can be pretty high up there too because those are two very big niches uh, some of the biggest uh, you know things like gardening um, uh, outdoor living you know outdoors camping and that they're, they're cheaper but definitely fashion I found fashion and fashion and baby are very very big and that they can actually be pretty expensive so just keep that in mind don't be surprised by some of the figures you see don't be offended uh, that's just a, a general tip from the experience I've had, okay? So you wanna negotiate the price down by stating in your email as well that you want a four hour story post, okay? So why you do that is you get the same amount of engagement for a fraction of the cost, okay? And this is more aimed at people that are that are on a, a limited budget or they're starting out and wanting to try and limit their budget, whatever that may be. Um, and uh, if it goes well, you want to try and upsell them, okay? So you want to give them a, be a reason to actually give you a discount and abide by this, whereas most of the time they, they want that 
24 hour thing so they make more money and it's more consistent for them. So you have to convince them as to why I need to do this when I don't know you. You know, I don't know you, I'm not your friend, so tell me why. And you wanna tell them that you would want a 24 hour story post and a page post at minimum, plus future posts. So I would even put plus future posts in there um, if it keeps going well, because you wanna really do it well. If you've got a product and an audience that's working really well, you wanna milk it, right? Okay, that's really important, okay? so. Um, I even go to the extent of offering them free stuff. Okay, so uh, especially you want to do this. A lot of people don't do this, but you you want to do it if if it works the first time. You want to actually just send them the product. Uh, if it costs you 10, 20 bucks, who cares? Uh, send them the product. Uh, one uh, means that they're getting the product because they usually like a lot of influencers will like your product too. Okay, they're people, um, and you can give them other free items. And if they ask, I just do it because they're far more willing to, to go over and above. And you send it to them and they'll take a picture of it with themselves. And so it goes from being uh, something where you're just purely marketing to something where some the actual influence themselves holding it. And that holds a lot more uh, strength than it does just flat out trying to sell the product with a, a small video or image, okay? So that's really important. Um, so that can help with a lot with your follower base. Okay, you'll get a lot more followers as well as you're gonna get a lot more sales because people, it's a lot more, uh, the relatability is a lot higher. So their audience gonna actually go ahead uh, more likely and buy. Okay, so uh, you wanna get their demographics. So um, I know this sort of explained other ones, but once you are contacting them and you're negotiating a price, you wanna ask as well about the demographics of their audience. Always just ask that question. That's just a question you wanna always ask. Okay, uh, because you, for two reasons, Primarily, um, this shows that they know their audience. So this um, shows that they know their audience and they're actually quite serious about this as you don't want crappy influences, okay? So there's ones that have bots and there's ones that have just gotten to some point and they, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they don't know this and that. They haven't gone and done any form of research and uh, you know it can just blow your money, waste your time and you, you don't want that, okay? So it's just a little tip that I always ask regardless of if I already know that information. Um, it helps you to instill confidence within yourself um, and it actually shows them as well that you're very serious that you're not just some pushover, okay? So uh, this helps you with choosing the right influence, really important, especially as you're starting out because I know a number of people are on tight budgets and I get that. So once decided on the influencer, the last part that's really important is to get the best time of day. We're doing a four hour story post, okay? So if we're doing a four hour story post, we don't wanna do it, let's say, like with Facebook ad where we launch it at midnight, do we? Uh, you know, especially, you know, from 12 to 4 a.m. If they're audience, you're not gonna really get any sales. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Uh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so, you wanna keep that in mind. Um, so always ask the best time of day. Most of the time, most audiences, the best time of day is either between 12 or 12 to four in the afternoon or like six to 10, okay? So usually, and that's because as you guess, a lot of people around that time are having their lunch breaks or they're finished work for the day, they're at home and they're on their phone, blah, 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 okay? So uh, those times generally work well, it's just a little tip. Step five. Uh, is you want to make a video or an image. Okay, so if you're gonna make an, an image, um, just use Canva. You can just use Canva and you just literally um, type in here, uh, Instagram story, all right? And um, you can then, uh, that gives you the template for the 1080 by 1920. And that's the same resolution so yeah, that's the same resolution for uh, a video. So the 1080 uh, pixels by 1920, so it looks optimal. If it doesn't look 100%, don't be too worried, just as long as it doesn't look pixelated. Okay, that's really important. If it looks pixelated, that's really gonna put people off. So don't do that, definitely try and, if you can get the image like that, that's absolutely perfect. But at the start, just try and keep it within those dimensions and use that template and you will be fine, okay? So don't worry too greatly about that um, at this point in time. The My last little tip, uh, one, of, one of the last little tips is make the discount code unique, okay? So if I was, if someone was doing an influencer uh, shout out on my page, more than welcome to, I'm joking. But anyway, but, uh, uh, you you know if if it was me and I was communicating with them I'd be saying give me a, a uh, I want a discount code that uh, is unique to me so I'd be like Ricky ten okay give them a ten percent discount you know um, 
uh, unique discount code, uh, sorry, exclusive 10% discount code, Ricky10. And you just put like a black line at the bottom, exclusive 10% discount code, Ricky10. And it's psychologically proven that having words that relate to an individual or a product in that actually helps with the relatability and actually helps with the chant, the intent to buy. Whereas, you know, you think about like if I made a discount code, um, save 10, they're not, it's not going to mean as much as Ricky 10 because it really feels far more personal. Influencer marketing needs to be very personal, um, a lot more than Facebook in many regards, um, in its own regard. Okay. Cause you're really trying to just touch on purely that dedicated audience to that individual. So you want to make it as personal as possible. I even go to the degree of that personal discount code, Ricky 10, making it a shareable link. And I give them that as like a bitly URL. Um, it doesn't have to be if it's a story post, but give them uh, a shareable link because that means it auto injects into the, the checkout so that you have a higher conversion rate there. Okay. So, that is my five, six steps, sorry. Is it six? Yeah, six steps to generating $100 a day using Instagram influencers in 2019. Okay, guys, and I will be sharing this um, this link in the description below for you to use as reference. All right, guys, so you can get as much value from this as possible. Hey, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video on influencer marketing reaching $100 a day in 2019. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and comment down below what you would like to see in upcoming videos. Okay, guys, I uh, my mentoring as well as coaching program is still open. I've only got one more spot for my mentoring at this stage. Um, absolutely loving helping the students. If you want to apply, there's links down below as well as other links for trial, free trials and other various things that will be really beneficial for you. Um, lastly, I just want to add that uh, I've been getting a, a bit of feedback from people about making more beginner-friendly videos. Um, and so... Uh, I'll be doing one beginner friendly, one pure beginner friendly video like this one, um, and then two other ones that are more my standard ones to, to help everyone. So I'm going to be looking at uh, at least doing obviously two a week, but trying to add in that third one uh, to give everyone as much value as possible. Okay, guys. And don't forget to join my Facebook group, Shopify Dropshipping Lifestyle on Facebook. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching today. Have a lovely day. Take care.